Possibly the most powerful thing about Grasshopper is its vast collection of plugins that extend Rhino's capabilities, which opens up limitless possibilities for your design. Let's take a look at where to download plugins and how to install them. The best location to download any Grasshopper plugin is foodforrhino.com. Food for Rhino collects most Grasshopper plugins ever created on its website, and you can easily search for any that you're looking for. I'm going to try and install the Anemone plugin, which is a looping plugin and enables to create loops within our Grasshopper algorithms. So I'm going to type Anemone, and I'm going to hit search. And the first one with this kind of like Anemone looking thing is the one that I want to select. I'm going to click on it. And it'll take us to the Anemone plugin page on the Food for Rhino website. So there's a few different uh, options down here as to what we can download. You always want to try and download the most recent version, which would be Anemone 0.4. So I'm just going to hit download. And I'll get a little GHA file. Some plugins have more than one file, and you might get a zip file that you need to unzip. So what do we do with this GHA file? We need to copy it into what's called the Grasshopper Libraries folder. So if we flick back to Rhino and we have Grasshopper open, you can find the Libraries folder by navigating to File, Special Folders, Components folder. And you'll see you get this uh, folder called Libraries that you're stuck in. I've got one plugin installed right now called Bifocals, and this enables me to see the names of each component above the component on the canvas. What we want to do now is place our Anemone plugin, the GHA file, into this Libraries folder. So I'm going to go to my Downloads. I'm going to right click on Anemone and I'm going to cut it, go back, and now I'm going to place or paste this file into the libraries folder. Now before you get started, there's one thing you need to check. Always right click on the GHA file or whichever file you're copying in and check properties. You need to unblock the file before you can use it inside of Rhino. So it, sometimes you get this warning in Windows, this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect the computer. You need to hit unblock and go apply, otherwise Grasshopper won't be able to lo load the plugin. So generally speaking, any plugin that you download, you want to copy and paste the files into the library folder. Once you're done copying and pasting, you then want to close Rhino and Grasshopper, and then restart it. Get Grasshopper up again. And you'll see we have the Anemone plugin installed into Grasshopper. Some of the plugins I recommend downloading include the Anemone plugin, which enables you to create loops and simulations. The Weaverbird plugin, which gives you greater control over mesh geometries in Grasshopper. The Pufferfish plugin, which is a great suite of tools for tweening objects and creating complex geometries. And the Chromodorus plugin, which allows you to create isosurface meshes. Grasshopper also comes installed with the Kangaroo 2 plugin, which is a fantastic physics engine you can use in your design process. There are a whole series of other plugins that are also fantastic tools you can use in Grasshopper.